Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm sure you all know since you clicked on this video, I got some of the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Line products and I am going to review them for you as well as give my first impressions. I went to Sephora and people were literally taking this stuff off the shelf, but I managed to get my color like on the first try. I mean, I really just bought four products out of the entire line and I kind of wish I bought a little bit more just to give like a fuller review, but for the look that I did, not bad for four products. The line itself is very versatile. She'll tell you that her highlighters can also be used for blushes. They can also be used for, you know, the eyes. So I actually did use her shimmer stick for my eyes and my highlight, which is pretty, pretty cool. Like an all-in-one type of situation. And I really wanted to do like a natural look because that's kind of the aesthetic that Rihanna is going for. I'll put a picture. Um, and she just kind of looks like she's fresh faced and just has a bunch of highlighter on nude lips and is going about her day so if you like this look and if you like me stay tuned I only got four products so I got her foundation I got her contour and highlight stick I got her matchstick in a shimmer and then I got the um, universal lip gloss that she's been um, promoting so she has a lot more products. She has a primer, she has a bunch of highlighters, she has a bunch of um, contours, but I just wanted to start on the smaller side, one and two. I love Rihanna, I really do, I do, but Riri don't pay my rent yet. I barely can afford my rent, and I live with my mama, so I just had to deal. But next time, I got y'all next time. So anyway, I'm going to start off with my face. So she did have a primer, like I said, but since I already have a primer that works pretty well for my combination skin, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, I just decided I'm going to pass on that and I am going to use my primer instead. The best thing you could do to make sure that this product works really well on your skin is to make sure that it is really moisturized, that your face is really, really well moisturized, that it's not dry and that it's hydrated so that the product can go on smoothly. So I actually picked up from e.l.f. this e.l.f. water droplet balm. So now I'm gonna go in with my um, primer and then we're gonna go in with the foundation. So I got the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the color 420. And what they say about the foundation is that it's medium to full coverage for all, long wear, and light as air. When I was color matched at Sephora, she put a little bit on me and it really did feel like skin. And I'm going to see how full coverage it is because she was just putting a couple of layers on and I could still see my dark marks. You know, I suffer with hyperpigmentation. So I'm really just going to go in on this product and see if it can, you know, mask as many flaws that I have on my face as much as possible. Um, and then I'll tell you how the foundation feels. It's really lightweight. It's like almost like a water base. And you see how it like matches my skin perfectly. But you see, I can still see that dark mark, so I'm probably going to have to go in again. But they said it's buildable. What I will say about this foundation is it's very lightweight. It's not cakey at all. It almost feels like water. And it is covering a good amount. I can still see some of my dark marks. My earring came off. I'm just going to take these both off until finished. I can still see some of my marks. So maybe in the future, I would go in with you know, some color correcting, but I'm just gonna try to use as much as possible since it is so watery and so lightweight. Like, I don't really feel like I'm gonna be in danger of getting like a really cakey face. So this foundation was only $35. I think that's pretty affordable and you get a lot. You get 32 milliliters or 1.08 fluid ounces. So that's, I mean, pretty standard, but still a pretty good price point for that amount of product. So the look I'm going for is kind of like a natural look. Um, Rihanna, her aesthetic lately has been like looking like she's wearing almost no foundation, even though she was probably wearing her own line and like matched her skin perfectly. And like, you know, really light brown shadow on her eyes with like shimmer and like a bunch of highlighter. 
and then some nude lips so I'm kind of gonna copy that aesthetic so when you go into the store one of the great things that they do have is as soon as you pick out your foundation they kind of have these flashcards which are like in a color wheel and they whichever foundation you're matched with they kind of have around the circle a contour or concealer that will match your skin tone I was matched with her matchstick in the color suede which is a conceal correct and contour and so I'm gonna use this to highlight under my eyes I didn't get a contour because I feel like I have enough of those already and since I'm going for a natural look I don't really need like a deep contour so I might just go in with some powder so I'm gonna just use this and it basically matches my skin tone I didn't realize so it's gonna be like a very light under eye um, look I feel like you can, okay you can see it a little bit so I'm just gonna spray with some Mario Badescu and kind of blend this out but honestly it's very creamy and very blendable you don't really need to wet your sponge I just do on habit so I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier powder baked and then you know the drill I don't really keep it for long I'm just gonna brush it off Another cool feature is that the sticks are magnetic. Her idea was that whatever contour and highlight and then shimmer stick that you bought, you can kind of keep them all together and they stick. And so you have your three holy grails all together in your makeup bag and like they can never get lost. So this is such an ingenious idea. And also just makes you want to play with it all day long. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to go in with is her matchstick and it's a shimmer. It's called her shimmer skin stick and it is supposed to highlight, blush, and enhance. So I am going to use this as a highlighter but I'm also going to use it on my eyes to provide a little bit of dimension and shine. So I'm just going to blend this out with my fingers. And see, that just provides a little bit of a shimmer to my eyes. And it's kind of like a rosy gold undertone, so that's really cool. So now I'm just going to go in with my highlight. So i just going in with my highlight on my nose, on my lips, and on the sides. And I'm just going to blend it with my finger. And then just to blend it out a bit more, I'm just going to go in with my highlighter brush. Since I am going for a really natural look, I'm just going to add mascara to my lashes. I'm not even going to go in with fake lashes. I use my two lash holy grails to basically mimic fake eyelashes, which I guess is maybe besides the point, but they are mine. I didn't buy them this time. They are mine. So I use my Stila Huge Extreme, Extreme Lash Mascara and then I use my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So one gives me length and then another one gives me volume. So first I'm going to go in with my Better Than Sex Mascara. And then I'm going to go in with my Stila and add some length. So I'm going to go in with this Artisan Color Baked Blush in the color Toasted Almond. And it's just going to give me like a really natural cheek. And then last but not least, I'm going to go in with her Glass Bomb, which is a universal lip luminizer. It's supposed to work for every single person's skin tone, which is pretty cool. So the color is Fenty Glow. And it's this really pretty rose gold nudish gloss so before I put the gloss on I actually made sure since it's not really a lipstick it's not really a color and it's just gonna pick up on my natural lip color almost and then enhance it that my lips were moisturized and um, exfoliated so I actually went in with the lush sugar plum fairy lip scrub and just made sure that any dry skin on my lip was, was taken off Isn't that pretty? 
So the lady at the store, she put this on my lips and I was like in love. She told me to try to identify the scent that was on it and I'm not really good at that. I hate when people are like, what do you smell? And I'm like, good. <laughs> I don't know. My nose is not really trained for it, but she told me that it, that there are notes of vanilla and peach in it. So it smells really, really good. And <laughs> I don't know how much I should believe this lady, but she was at Sephora. She said that when she went to the Rihanna launch, Rihanna said that she wanted to create this scent so that everybody gets kissed more. If that's true, Riri, thank you. And I really hope that this product works because I need it. But I'm gonna finish up my lips. So this is the completed look. I do apologize for not having more of the product, but I'm really happy with the staples that I got. So, you know, the foundation, the contour and the shimmer stick and the gloss, and I just loved doing this. So overall, I think that she did an amazing job for her first product launch. You know, the packaging itself is really clean and beautiful and minimalistic. You know, this color is really in right now. We've seen this with KKW Beauty Line. I thought it was amazing that she had 40 foundation shades off the bat. I really hope she has more because some people have voiced that some of the undertones are still missing. Luckily, I was able to find mine. Um, but in terms of the foundation itself, I would say it's more medium coverage or it's not something that you would wear to like a glamorous event. I did use a good amount of product to mask my hyperpigmentation, but as you all know, my, I have really dark hyperpigmentation, so that's going to be an issue for like any type of foundation. I felt like her concealers went on very creamy and very easily. I really didn't need the Mario Badescu to blend it out. I could have just done it. I could even do it with my fingers. I think, honestly, she does have some brushes in the line, but I think she also doesn't mind people working with their fingers and just blending it out and having fun. You get a good amount of product in the in the stick like look how much product that is and these go for $25 so that's not bad at all I will say that I'm probably gonna get a lighter concealer um, just because I like my under eye to be a bit more light I will say I'm in love with the shimmer sticks I probably get more um, in the collection as well but this was a really nice like rose gold it picks up really well on camera I you know loved how I could use it on my eyes and it provides like a bit of a shimmer and then y'all know this gloss, y'all, this gloss is bomb. Like, look at my lips. I love my lips right now. Like, mwah. I don't really gravitate towards glosses. I feel like glosses make me think of middle school when I was like piling on that Victoria's Secret lip gloss and I do this and it was stringed together and it looked crazy. But this is like that updated lip gloss for the grown woman. Hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions. Hope to you all you know was able to see the products for yourself and say oh maybe i'll get that maybe i'll try that if you like this video and if you like me you know what to do subscribe 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 and you know new videos are uploaded every week every friday i actually might drop this one earlier though because you know i'm excited but thank you all and i'll see you